hello, hello, welcome back. It is time to move on to Final Fantasy 13 2. And, whoops, okay, sorry, had to, there we go, adjust things a little bit. So, what we're gonna do here is actually a new game plus, full new game plus, unlike, um, unlike with 13, which we, where we skipped chapter 1 and 2. Uh, the layout of 13 2 is considerably different than 13. That game, that, you know, that game was a bit linear, whereas in 13.2 you have a little bit more freedom. It's kind of like a somewhere in between Chrono Cross and I'm not sure what the, what the other way to call it was. I kind of forgot. But basically, you have a little bit more freedom of choice. You have different time periods to mess around in. And I did some checking. Oh, I, well, uh, hold on. I think you can't ch change this from the start. Actually, let me check. Let's see here. Okay, you can change. You can switch at any time. And apparently, you know, going by what I'm seeing here, it's actually no point not playing in easy mode if, if we're just doing a let's play because normal mode is for, more for better item drops, whereas easy mode reduces a lot of uh, things. Uh, according to this, it, it uh, reduces enemy hit points by 20% except bosses, makes them twice as easy to stagger, 50% more for bosses, all damage is reduced by 33%, all wound damage is uh, reduced by 66%, and it heals over time. Doom timer is also three times as long. Uh, wound is something that's introduced in this game, and it's actually a huge pain in the ass if you, if you don't know, understand how to play to deal with it. Because it can make things really, uh, really a uh, pain in the ass for you mid and late game. Because a lot of the mid, oh, I think my okay, so the client, the game crashed. Must uh, hit something by accident. Dur uh, Thirteen was also given this kind of problem. Let's see. We'll try to get this working. Hold on. Okay, so Steam seems to have crashed. It's odd. This is very peculiar. Let's see. All right, so let's restart Steam. Oh, no, we don't want to exit the game. So let's try that again. Ah, there we go. Okay, so I do not know what was up with that. That's the most peculiar thing I've ever seen. Oh, hold on. We, we can adjust, uh... Ah, yeah, so you, you can actually adjust it where, where it stops doing that. Yeah, unfortunately, the uh, ports of the Lightning Trilogy were known for having issues with uh, f uh, frame uh, FPS as well as um, yeah. You could tell it was the difference between the the Lightning Trilogy ports and the older ports like seven, eight, nine. You know, HD Remaster Ten, and so on. A lot of these were better ported, whereas the initial ones like you know this one were kind of poorly ported. There's stability issues. And just plain weirdness. Apparently, you know, like that. Th 
that time was lost, yet time continued onward. So, here we go. Now, the story of 13-2 is interesting because in the, in the first hour or so, it actually retcons the end of uh, 13. Well, you'll see what in a minute. Divine you know, how it does in a minute. Go peacefully to your rest. I will stand guard over your legacy. So from the start, you can see Lightning has new uh, your gear entirely. This is her as a Valkyrie, this as a Knight of Etro. Is awash with sadness. Life and death lose all meaning. And also, something interesting here is if you have a complete, you have a clear game save Valhalla. from 13 as well as 13-2. In Lightning turns, you get do not touch Lightning's a Guardian Core outfit, which is her 13 look, and her Knight of Etro look, which is the one here, as bonus dresses in uh, 13 in, uh, right, in, in, in the Lightning Returns. I begin my life anew. And honestly, it feels like they did a major uh, graphics update in between, you know, 13, 13, 12, you know, 2. Even though the game, I think this came out only, what, a year after 13. It could be, uh, let's see, you know, let's see. Came out two years, so they did some major upgrading. Even though it does look like it's all, it's all the same engine. Like, if you look at this and look at a cutscene from 13, it's hard, it, you know, it's it hard to tell it's still a PlayStation it 3 title. Is that not so? You... <laughs> and we're gonna have to adjust the sound on this. This is way too loud. Okay, yes, I can do it right now. This is like really loud. It shouldn't be that loud. We're adjusting it. Okay, it's... wow. It's just a loud sequence in general. Shit. That's crazy. Alright, so we'll move on in just a second. I want to make sure I got this right. All right, so we'll move on just now. All right. Everything should be okay. Warrior goddess. Now we cross swords. And if you wonder why that voice is familiar, it's because it's Liam O'Brien, who, who a lot of people may know as a voice of a lot of anime and video game characters. One of the most popular ones being Yasuo. On here, you know, this is like a better, yeah, this is like a Yasuo, but cool. So we're gonna call him Cool Yasuo. <laughs> Embrace the terror. <laughs> so remember what I said back, at, you know, during uh, let's see when we, when we hit a. Uh, when we, during the, the chapter 9 to 10 stretch of 13 about other Eidolons being summoned. Well, this is one of many examples in, in 13 2 as well as Lightning Returns where this actually this happens. That someone else could summon, that someone could summon another's Eidolon. Here we have uh, alternate colors of Shiva sisters.
She used, both, she used the first name and last name. It's serious. Impressive. Save it. So, usually when it comes to a Final Fantasy game, the logo composes something that's incredibly significant to the game's plot. But for Final Fantasy IV, uh, you know, as a starting point, it was Kane, and Kane was one of the most important part characters in the entire fourth story. Well, five, uh, it was uh, the Hear You, the Dragon, which helped kick off the events. Oh, and by the way, we got we got Dark Bahamut here, or more or more accurately, Chaos Bahamut. Anyway, six was Terra's Magic Tech armor. Which, you know, had her at the start of the series. Sevens was uh, the Meteor spell. Eight was, squ was Squall Renoa. Let's pause this so I can... Oh, that's... Okay, it, it, this is technically paused because, you know, it, it won't advance until you do. Anyway, so eight was Squall Renoa. Nine was the Crystal, which is was the main source of uh, everything on in that setting as well as... You know, destroying it would start the final battle. Ten was Yuna dancing, and Sin, with Ten two being the uh, trio. Twelve was Cabrera. Thir see, thirteen was. Oh yeah, thirteen was Cocoon and Pulse, and now we have you know, you know, Ka Caius and Lightning, and their struggle is re what really defines this game. Anyway. First off, you'll notice uh, roles are colored different. You know, rather uh, names are colored differently now. I believe Lightning's considered a commando at this point, hence why she's got red on her name. Whereas the, you know, the, the party will, will change their colors depending on what their role is. Your nose lightning has six, indicating suggesting that technically she got her full ATB gauge, because you only get six with, you know, you know, a, a, a maxed out your posterium as well as your, your upgrade level three weapon. So for the most part. Chaos Bahamut here has the same abilities that uh, Fangs Bahamut did. This isn't over. And I believe he has to get some new uh, tricks too. Notice he has Gestalt mode. Come on, then. Also, this is something uh, new to 13. It's the cinematic action. I think, for the most part, it was only in 13. There may have been some in Lightning Returns that I don't remember.
But if you do them right, you can actually change the, 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 the an incoming battle as well as get rewards for doing um, enough of them. Oh, and by the way, that wasn't just Dark Bah- you know, Chaos Bahamut, that actually was Caius. So, so that's something he does to, you know, the game is that he can transform into Bahamut. <laughs> Which honestly begs the question of whether or not the Bahamut that Fang- that was, uh, you know, bonded to Fang may have been Caius. It's, it's, I don't think there's anything that, 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 you know, it, it even implies it was, so... You notice he took damage. This actually does play, you know, when the cinematic action goes off, it actually does matter, you know, because this will actually cause damage to a boss or something. Notice he's took he's got stagger damage now. It's Titus, but not an ass wipe. <laughs> or rather, not an airhead. <laughs> no, Christ. What? That's a hell of a fucking miracle. From Valhalla, I can see everything. But who 
are you? Lightning. Anyway, yeah, as you can tell, Liar has mellowed out a fair bit since 13. Wait, uh, wait, I thought if you're playing the easy mode, you shouldn't be getting those kind of drop rates, like, that's odd, like, difficult mode is you get better drop rates than normal, whereas easy mode allows you to get to the game easy, you know, obviously easy, you know, less hassle, that's really odd. We're going to we're gonna take a look at the in-game menu as soon as we get out of cutscenes. Because something it. seems off there. This is not your battle. There's something else I need you to do. What? Bring my sister to me. Her name is Sarah. Okay. You'll need to use the portal. Your time-gazing friend should have told you how it works. That's a gate? But why me? Why not? Because you're the only one who can. You crossed the void and made it to Valhalla. You can find Sarah. And together... So yeah, this is this big city-like uh, area is Valhalla, which is a, a basically the afterlife. I swear to God, if he's got fucking seven Moogles popping up out of nowhere, I'm gonna fucking okay. hurt somebody. <laughs> I'll track her down. <laughs> I'm getting PTSD from King Mog. <laughs> What's happening? Enjoying your little task. <laughs> Caius? Get to the gate. So from right off the bat, Noel recognizes Caius, and a lot of this becomes more uh, obvious later on in the game. What's going on? Not this again. Odin, do it. Also, oh, because it's kind of loud still, but I'm not. Sure. Okay, we have to pause it because some of these still seem loud, even though we uh, lowered the game's audio inside um, 
you know, the sound mixer itself, so it should be at 30% is where I usually lower it to. Let me pour it out. Oh, it's actually 60. Yeah, it's really low, but I don't know why it still feels so loud. Like, I do not know, because it seems really loud even after that. Go with you, Noel Christ. Now I don't know if we if we it, it, I can't remember at the point, but there's a point in speed your way where at the game where you can look in the data log and learn a lot about what uh, Odin's role in Valhalla is, it, how Valhalla it is, as well as more about Valhalla. Oh, and this is something that's cool. Basically, when you start a new up, when you go to a start a new episode, you see a little uh, title screens like that. And take note of what Lightning said about a world where she no longer exists. Oh, and I think I know what's going on here. The uh, cutscenes are louder by default, and I don't know if I can adjust that. But the game itself actually does go lower, so we we'll go back up to thirty percent. So cutscenes, unfortunately, are not. Subject to the sound reduction, I guess. Sarah, the truth still survives, but only you remember it. I wonder if that camera shot was necessary. She was fighting. I guess it was just a dream. Such a strange dream. What? Also, now her gear has uh, instantly changed. There we go, finally. All right, so. You notice the day log has changed considerably from from 13. It's much more uh, organized, I guess is the right way to say it. And Nora, uh, honestly, they they become largely irrelevant after after a few episodes, after one or two episodes in this game, they become largely irrelevant to the point where they don't even appear in Lightning Returns. So looking here, this basically says after uh, like you know, the events of Thirteen. You know, the, fal the, the falsity that exists on Grand Pulse do not give a shit about humans, so they don't bother them. And the falsity of C Cocoon are in slumber. And the you know the fall of cocoon created a new timeline, so to speak. Now it, now it said whatever the system they used before, they just say they date the years as AF after fall. 
and they think Lightning's inside there, but obviously we know, obviously see, we see from the cutscene, she is not. Uh, I just want to get this off the screen so it doesn't bother me. So this is basically a you know, mini tutorial for anybody who's starting the series at 13.2. But we're coming from 13, so we don't really need it. Now, I kind of wish they would, do, you know, they, they could do the, uh, due to the, 13, the Lightning Trilogy what was done for Mass Effect and made it all one game, one launcher. So, so yeah, outfits are something you can swap into, but uh, from either via DLC or reaching certain uh, milestones in game. And this is one. This is one of the key items that uh, you, you, is something you can only get for playing thirteen. So it detects if you have a save game or not. Okay, back to the data log. So look at what it says here. She ceased to exist in the world. And from what we saw the cutscene, that was not really the case. And I don't remember how, how far into the game that you get before it reveals what happened. But So I'll say it here because I'm pretty sure it actually happens extremely early. But basically, Etro retconned the end of 13. She took lightning in, in return for returning them all to life. So when we saw them emerge from the crystal, they were actually supposed to die there. They were, they were supposed to be in the crystal, but Etro reversed it. So I'm pretty sure this is something that said it, it, very early on. So, you know, it's one of many twists in this game, but they throw it at you very early on in the gameplay. The Etro reversed everything. Oh yeah, I've got to take a look at some need, didn't I? Let's see, no. I, I do not know where we're getting that 200% uh, item drop rate from. Cause that's, I don't see anything here that would be doing that. Let's, oh, oh let's, actually, let me see. I'm gonna take a look at the uh, Eternal Crystal, see if it actually does anything mechanically. Final Fantasy 2, 13 uh, items. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it says, it doesn't seem to actually do anything. It just says, you know, you, you, can, you have to have a, 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 okay, you have to have a save file for either the PS3 or 360 versions, and it's by default in Steam. So I don't know. It, it doesn't seem to actually do anything. Let me see if I can do a quick Google. Because this is going to bother the hell of me. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I remember now. It's the star rating. So if you get five stars in a fight, you get a higher drop rate chance. That's what's going on. Ah, see, okay, so they actually made it where the star ratings actually meant something other than achievement. Okay. Okay, so now I know what's going on. It's just a star rating. So they made they they did a lot of good improvements on the uh, system from uh, from the uh, the bath system to where they, a lot of quality of lives and such. And this is actually the first game where you can actually start attacking enemies to get a you know, preemptive strike rather than 
running it, hoping you can run into them before they detect you, detect you using uh, or using deceptive saw. Also, some of these live triggers can only be done if you have uh, an item that you get. Uh, not. Oh, why am I walking? Uh, let me check the settings. Could be the, the a fourth walk for, uh, as part of the segment. She can't be dead. These clothes are they from the other side as well? Okay, we're gonna check uh, justice too, because I do not. <laughs> I don't like this camera. This current system. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it was fourth walk. Oh my god, it's crashy like crazy. Okay, this is really gonna be a problem, I think. Okay, so that all happened. I think we just lost all of our progress, too. So we're going to have to save constant because I don't remember this thing being weirdly crashy when, it, when I played it years ago. Because I feel like this is going to be a recurring issue. Oh my god, it's got... Hey, it's got an autosave! Oh, thank you! So it has an auto save in it. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Okay, I just want to get all this up back off again. We can make a save. So that is something they added to the series was an autosave. I totally forgot about it, but yeah, there is an autosave now. It does help mitigate some of this, you know, this weird crashing. You're going on a trip, Sarah. Now, if I forgot the, uh, there's a, like a weird, uh, there's a, not weird, but, uh, different rewards depending on what life triggers you, you do and you need to do it in order to get a, you know, maximum item, I, which is not something we're really doing here. This is, you know, let's play casual thing. Let's see, we can't pull up the map at least.
Health ain't coming. Bitch. You want her? Then you're gonna have to go through me. Get up, Sarah. You were in my dream. I saw you. Save it for later. Can you fight? You're gonna have to. One more thing. Don't ever lay down and wait to die. Uh, and you can see why he's <laughs> bet like a cooler Titus. So now we have access to weapons, finally. Alright, had to tab out. Okay, there we go. Sadly, when I tab out like this, it messes the uh, background up. up. But it's nothing you can't. Oh, actually. Uh, okay, so this game is really unstable. I don't know why. I might have checked and adjusted, at, you know, in, in between sessions. See if I can figure out what's going on. Like, you, like, here we are trying to save, and it does not want to, it does not give a fuck about that. You know, if, if, uh, if there's stability issues, I may have to do an alternate version of playing, which is going to be really interesting, and you'll, you know, if it comes to that, I'll explain. But right now it seems very crash happy and well I'm not sure this is gonna be playable. Cause this is if it's gonna keep crashing like this, I think what we may okay. Yeah, actually I think what we may have to do is um just basically load a clear game save. Okay, the way the the way the chapter select works in um 13.2 is that when you get to the to the it effectively was the world map. You get access. You can replay a chapter by run, by using a paradox scope as well as paradox, you know, uh, gate gate seals. It's it sounds weird, but it makes it so, total sense in context. And we can't seem to skip. Okay, here we go. Cool. We just went right past that. Uh, cause yeah, it's a bit of Sarah walking around. Need this. Yeah. 
See, uh, I'm trying to see if there's something, you know, it doesn't look like there's any kind of graphic settings or anything that would be causing this. I think it's just, you know, the game not running very well at 1080p versus 720p. Let's get this off the screen. Ah, uh, so many new turns and such. Honestly, I feel like I should just prep the save to skip past most of this. But unlike 13, this is, you know, the opening areas of 13.2 aren't bad to play. Because you get access to free roam, so to speak, relatively quickly. Versus 13 being so long in. So you know she starts out with Commando Ravager and Sentinel, as does Noel. And they can be, they can become all all six uh, roles from the first game to a different um, you know, if, you know, efficient you know different levels of effectiveness. Ah, you're a wuss. Slowly thinning the horde. Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Mackie. Yeah. Gotta go. Okay. All right, everyone, listen up. The meteorite hit over there. Right. We're gonna check it out. Team Yuge, ready to roll. Well, and careful. That area's crawling with monsters. So stay close. Come on. Okay. Right. You heard him. Move out. With you. You're okay. 
She took a hit, but she's gonna be fine. She just needs some rest. Thank goodness. And thank you. Uh, whoever you are. No. No, Christ. Okay. And before I forget, it wasn't just me. You should probably thank this little guy, too. So, Mark, you know, it's not only, you know, an aid for the party, he's also uh, Sarah's weapon. Check it out. Okay. Kofu? Now I know for sure. Lightning is alive. She's in a place called Valhalla. I'd only just met Noel, but I believed him. I believed every word he said. Even though it couldn't possibly be true. It seems like only yesterday. The smile on Lightning's face when she gave her blessing for Snow and me to get married. But I'm the only one who ever remembered that. No one believes. It's just a dream, they say, from when I slept in the crystal. An illusion. They say my sister is gone. That three years ago, she sacrificed herself to stop the fall of Cocoon. Technically, they all did. She turned into the crystal pillar that holds Cocoon above the surface. But no, it's just Fang of Vanille, ultimately. Both worlds. That's what they say. But even so. Sadly, we can't change our uh, you know, Crystarium jerseys around yet. Not to mention, uh, we don't have access to our full party in order to make up Paradon de decks. <laughs> Okay, so you that's how oh So monsters can just pop up out of nowhere versus uh, 13 where you can see them clearly So unlike you know, 13 uh, preemptive strikes here, you can get stuff like uh, Fort Assault or Age Assault like abilities. I just didn't think it 
If I see another meteorite, I'm gonna shoot it down. No way. Just keep on moving. And now it tells you how what your um, map ex exploration is like. Unfriendly critters around that meteorite. Uh oh. Uh, Who's this? Oh. This is Noel. He helped Lebro and me out of a tight spot. Is that right? Hey. I'm good though. Okay. So, the Lightning Saga is interesting because I you know, you know it's three different games. And the first game can be summarized as Lightning trying to save Sarah and you know, save the world with you know, 13 2 being Sarah you know, trying to find Lightning and save her and save everybody, save you know, the time itself. Hmm. And then you got Lightning Returns being. Lightning trying to you know save Words save souls. It, it, honestly, this, that will last one make it a lot more context when we get to lightning returns. But salvation and rescue is a, a recurring theme in this game. In contact now. Okay, so uh, notice, you know, the meme map doesn't rotate like it did in 13. Uh, I'm pretty sure it rotated in 13. You know, it doesn't rotate according to which way the camera is. It rotates, you know, slightly, depending where you actually are. So this is one of many indications in the game that something is fucking wrong. We've been seeing all kinds of aberrations. Do you have any idea what's happening? <sighs> Not the slightest clue. Some spots seem to have sped forward centuries. But other parts haven't changed at all. <sighs> so these areas are from different timelines. Uh, realities blending together. I like how they magically they, they just instantly jump straight to that. They had no fucking idea what could have been going on until they say, "Oh, it's it's time merging together." Like how? There's nothing, nothing in the series up to this point that could have possibly indicated that. Do you think? Yeah, yeah it, it, it's just something that's always bothered the hell out of me. There's absolutely nothing indicating that this little Ezreal-looking son of a bitch here could possibly know 
that there's temporal temporal fluctuations. Yet here's like fucking Star Trek. Okay, that is something that's always bothered me. They need to go straight to that. They came have a little mini investigation. Somebody come along and tell me, oh, time's fucking up. Someone's gotta go fix it. Like, come on. Lie to me if you have to. Do something. Make make this shit more believable. Even Star Trek tried. <laughs> but here we are, just go straight to that. You know, looking this over, I kind of I'm starting to regret not having made a prepared save for this. Cause yeah, a lot of this does basically treat you like you've never, you haven't played the 13 games until now. But we are coming straight from 13. Oh, and unlike 13, you can see we have, don't have the uh, issue of the uh, Bastari not properly showing information. So I guess that's just a 13 issue, but 13-2 in Lightning Currents, it's not a big deal. Okay, so fragments, oh yeah, it's, you basically get fragments f for resolving anomalies. Uh, you know, Golgamog was not supposed to be there, so taking them out gets the fragment. And fragments are, you know, as it indicates, you know, it's something you get, you know, 160 over time. And, you know, and there's a, a weapon, there's a, a pair of weapons that you get access to mid and late game. If you collect over a certain amount of fragments, they actually become better than any other weapon to get type in the game. This is not happening. This is not happening. I think it's at the uh, 120 mark. Don't wander off alone. We made it. Wait up. Hmm. Can't, what do can't, I tell everyone? I can't seem to reach this right now. What's going on inside that rock? Mark, you look. You could you could throw a mug at some point. Oh, right. Hmm. Okay, yeah, this game's gonna keep crashing, and I have no idea why. Fortunately, we can just, uh, yeah, since that's an auto saving, we should be able to go right back to that point. And I feel like this is, you know, this is gonna keep happening, and I have no, absolutely no idea why. When I played through this about uh, close to six years ago, I did not remember, do not remember having these crash issues. So, I think most li likely what we're going to have to do is, uh, oh, and by the way, when you load a save, it does, you know, you get, you can get a little, it gets a replaced cutscene up to that point. Okay, so, I guess we lost that fragment. 
it means we have to repeat the fight, probably. And it seems like it's going to do this crashing randomly. Like, I do not know why it's doing this. I'm going to try to look it, look it up real quick. Yeah, we're going to repeat that boss battle. So let me look it up, see if I can look it up real quick. Oh, okay, okay. I think this is okay. I think this is actually. Um, it seems like the random crashes may be from the Steam Cloud. Okay, so let's, let's disable that. Now, we'll see if it does this again. Okay, so let me make sure it's disabled. Let's see, updates. Uh, no, that's not it. Okay, so turn off the Steam Cloud. If it keeps crashing, then we'll have to do the remedy of using a query save in order to access key uh, spots. So this may be why, why it's crashing, because that's that, like, I just did a quick Google and the first thing came out said disable cloud saves. And if it does, if it does work, then we'll continue on normally. If it doesn't, then what we'll the do the uh, load a save to uh, get past you know these, these issues. Skip that. So we're gonna go 30 minutes to see if it crashes again. If it does crash again, then we'll have to look at the uh, alternate way of put you know, completing this let's play. If it doesn't, then we then it was in fact cloud saved. So let's we'll see how it goes in the next 30 minutes. doesn't exist. When I was born, the sky was already empty. Tell me, how many years has it been since Ragnarok appeared and Cocoon fell? Well, it's 3 AF, so that was three years ago. For me, all that happened 700 years in the past. So, Noel's a goddamn time lord. Time. 700 years in the future. From this world. Gee, what gave it away, Sarah? I'm Could it be the fact he wrote it on a fucking meteorite? Sarah. God we can damn! You. We can find lightning together. I know she wants to see you. <laughs> You're full of it! Yeah, that's impossible. Lightning's gone, man. And I wouldn't put money on that one, dude. I wouldn't put money on her being gone. No. Do you know where my sister is? Come with me. 
I swear to God, if he says come with me if you want to live. We're going. To, we're going to end up getting on Terminator rules in here. You see, it's a time gate. What do you mean? Wow, time gate. What the? It's like a portal. Lightning is in a place called Valhalla. She's waiting on the other side. I couldn't turn my eyes away. I knew the answer lay beyond that gate. The answer to my doubts and dreams. On the broad plain beneath Cocoon, my sister once celebrated my marriage to Snow. I remember her smile like it was yesterday. But sometime when I wasn't looking, she disappeared. She was gone as if she'd never been there in the first place. Lightning, are you out there? Did I dream that day on Pulse, or did it really happen? Noel says he can find you, but is he telling the truth? Noel's world was a terrible place where Cocoon did not exist. He had traveled back in time to change that bleak future, or so he told us. Listen, when different eras overlap, all kinds of crazy stuff happens. Objects from different times get mixed up. If you want to open a gate and travel through time, you have to find one of those objects. They're called artifacts. Uh, artifacts? The keys to the future. Hmm. They're anachronisms, relics of a different world. Basically, things that don't belong in your time. If we can find one, we might be able to use it to open the gate. Then we could cross time and travel to Lightning's world. Hmm. Could Noel be telling the truth? Beyond that gate, in a place called Valhalla, is Lightning alive and waiting for me? Can I? She sure it? is. <laughs> After all this time, oh, how I want to believe. I want my sister back. So much happened the night the meteorite fell. We all had a lot to think about. I wonder if anyone slept. <sighs> Good morning. Now let's see if we got our menu expanded. Yep, see. Okay, so yeah, this is a live trigger rewards. It changes depending on how, what, uh, what, the, which uh, way you manipulate them during the ones leading up to this point. So, much like Lightning, Sarah is best utilized in a Ravager uh, role. Unlike Lightning, however, she's actually really good at, at being medic. So she actually does some things better than Lightning did, whereas she does some things Lightning did worse. Like, she's not a good commando, and she's not a good sentinel. But Noah's great at both of those. And he's also a poor Ravager, and he's a poor uh, medic. And I remember character, they're both kind of equal on Synergist and Saboteur. And this is the Kostarian for 13 too. It's considerably different here. Let's see. So there's actually a specific progress, a specific way you want to consider doing this. So give me a second, and I'm going to look up a guide, because there's a specific way you want to consider doing it, which makes you both incredibly strong for mid and late game, and also allows you to tackle uh, challenges like uh, five star and the final boss on top of uh, DLC. So let me look this up. Let's see. Da, da, da. Remember, it's, remember it's looking up on Steam on Steam's uh, guides. You know, there's a specific uh, min-max way to, to really just wreck shit.
Let's see here. I don't think this is the right one, but I could be wrong. Actually, it does look like it. Let's see. No, it's not. So, there is actually you know, a really good guide here, but I don't think it's on Steam's uh, guides anymore, which is weird. So, I've never heard of guides being removed that weren't you know, like, uh, you know, breaking Steam t you know, TOS or something. Ah, now I found it. Okay, so, first off, let's save. You want to save before doing any major uh, CP dumping, you know, XP dumping, because, you know, you could end up reading a guide wrong or something and it's screwing up. It's taking a while to save, isn't it? Okay, uh, hmm. Oh, no, 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 no more exit. I wonder if it's taking so long to save because we, uh, disabled cloud saving while inside the game and then we didn't relaunch it first. I know Steam can be really weird about stuff like that. Meanwhile, I'm going to tab out and look, up, look at this guide. It's taking so long to save. Wow. I'm concerned if I restart the client, it's going to... Mess up to save. Yeah, let's just do that. Because I don't think this is going to go through otherwise. And I feel like this is really bad. And it did not keep the save, did it? Oh, wait, it did. Final Fantasy 13 2. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling it. So far. <sighs> Come on. So it did. Uh, it, uh, honestly, this shit's weird. But I do know. You know, I think that I wouldn't count that as a uh, crash. I think it's just weirdness. Anyway, so for our first one, we should be. Hmm. Okay, so. Okay, assuming I read this right, you put in eight, you know, one sentinel level. Okay, so here's how the Custerium works in this one. You see what the next available ability is, right? That means every time you uh, spend three uh, Custerium points on sentinel, that's one point per level. 
And every time, so every time you you spend three, that's another level up. And you know, and each level up is indicated by how many you would need to spend on that level. So one sentinel. Let's see when I read this right. So it's been so long since I read this, but I believe you had, to, according to this chart, you had to spend you know, that many per level. I hope I'm reading this right. It's been so long since I had to. Okay, so you activate eight commando on this level, but use the big crystals. And I don't know what, I think I did that right. So one Sentinel, eight Ravager. So we take Ravager to level eight. No, wait, oh, nine. Okay, I think that's. Yeah. Oh, sh oh shit. And sadly, you can't reset your Casterium, so I didn't see that coming. I Honestly, this won't matter much because this is a casual play. Ah, crap. Actually, yeah, let's actually reload. No. Yeah, hey, go back to the top menu. Final Fantasy 13 2. The story so far. So, yeah, you gotta be careful. You gotta look ahead and see what's next. And make sure you, you, you're doing the min-max correctly. Because this will actually make a lot of these fights a lot easier to deal with. When we don't have to deal with uh, missing stats or anything. In some ways, it's, it's honestly a good improvement over the uh, system. Because once you understand what when to use what, you know, which uh, thing, uh, you know, which, uh, you know, roll, um, which crystal. It actually is a lot simpler than trying to point out ahead how much, how much uh, XP you need to get in order to... Yo, get... Okay, so... There we go. Where is it? Okay, there's his crystal points. There we go. Okay. Now let's look at Ceres for this level. So this is level two, you know, stage one. Yeah, you know, and every time you every time you uh, clear the Crystarium uh, map, you get an expansion bonus. So the first one, you know, is an ATB plus one, which is incredibly huge. ATP ATB is massive, both in thirteen and thirteen two. Let's see. Okay, for Noro, so for Sarah, we want to do. Let's see, two Sentinel, and you use a uh, all Ravager for her. For her, it's okay, because like I said, she is a be she does Ravager better, just like Yo know, Lightning. Okay, so two. Sentinel, right. So that's a big crystal. All right, and I think uh, unlike, if I remember correctly, unlike thirteen, you're not gated by story on uh, your crystal. 
on your Castarium expansion, it's, it's a matter of grinding it out. And it gets easier late game to grind because you have access to higher, uh, you know, higher uh, XP monsters. Sarah, wait up for me. All this talk about artifacts and gates and time travel, to be honest, I don't know if I'm ready to believe it. Sarah, there's still so much I don't understand myself. If we can actually find an artifact, then I'll know what I've been saying is true. And once we open the gate, you'll be able to put some of your doubts to rest as well. So what do you think? Will you search for the answers with me? Give me a chance and I'll prove that it's true. It looks like Mog has found something. Let's check it out. Sorry to tell you, the mountain path... We can't go... Wait, I remember... Wasn't... Uh, now that you mention it, there's a path... There's surfers in this game? In this, you know, this mythology? I'll answer as best I can. Hmm. How do you know Lightning? I met her for the first time in Valhalla. I thought I was done for, and when I called the goddess's name, she appeared. Is your sister some sort of deity? Of course not. This is honestly a very good question because, well, she kind of is, but at the same time, not. It's complicated, and it's not really exp explained much, so to speak, in 13, but there's a lot of answers in, in Lightning Turns over this question. That feels like we shouldn't have gotten a great because we took so long to get to it. Too much damage done. And so we got Lightning Shank, what? the same one she gave hope. This is Lightning's knife. I keep it in my room, but how did it get out here? Feels like it feels like they, you know, they did some work on that one. It made it look prettier than than it was in the original game. Hey, look 
there. <laughs> Snow! <Sarah! laughs> Daddy! <laughs> Come on. Okay. <laughs> It's her knife. I found it near the base of the pillar. Snow. Uh, Sarah, I'm sorry. She must be inside the pillar. The lightning's holding up Cocoon. Along with the Neil and Faye. Wait, what are you talking about? She was right here a second ago. I saw her. He talked. She gave us her blessing. She was never there to begin with. No one else remembered her smiling and laughing. No one but me. All your friends think your sister is inside that pillar. I was scared. People said I was dreaming. They said... They said I was just making up stories so that I didn't have to face the truth. Listen, Sarah. Your memories are the truth. Lightning is alive. The question is why are you the only one who remembers? Perhaps history changed somehow. You mean and this actually is what actually happened. Again, I am pretty sure it they tell you extremely early on in, into a, a session that, rather not session, but um, a playthrough that, yes, Etro did change Etro history. I just don't remember when they tell you that, but it's something you learn very early on. And it's entirely possible I'm remembering that one wrong, but I do know it is told in this game what happened. That Etro dicked around and saved the party when she shouldn't have, and that's what caused everything here. Okay, so where the hell are we supposed to go? I don't remember. Mirror Crack was actually supposed to go back inside the house. Look, I think Mog has found something. But that's just a cat. Oh, and it's with the one we keep at Nora House. Wait, the cat isn't an artifact, is it? No, I don't think so. Maybe the cat could have picked up the artifact. Oh my god, are we about to... Is it, this is like how they make, you know, civet coffee. I'm going to be really upset. After her. Stay on her, Mark.
Snow, so this is where you got to. And the artifact isn't here, huh? Snow? Koopo? Oh, yeah. She's my pet. Koopo? Yuge found her and brought her home. Hey, I don't see why not. I think we should keep her, too. Uh, just as long as she doesn't make a mess in my workshop. <laughs> yeah. Hey, girl. Are God, you sure you can just come to mind? Even Can't more of them. Do it. I mean, we are mm. one big family, right? Yeah, right. Mac, you'll do it. Uh, you too. <laughs> Thanks. She's adorable. You know, considering it hasn't crashed in a while, I am thinking it was, in fact, cloud saving, so. They saw right through me. I lost light. I am willing to believe it was, in fact, cloud saving that's caused the problem guys, here. They really tried to cheer me up. So it hasn't been all bad. No, not at all. Life is harder here compared to back on Cocoon. But not that hard, to... though. Even in the tough I mean, you got people surfing, come on. The way surfs in, the, you know, when the times are rough. That ain't exactly, you know, a hobby that's friendly towards poor times. There's a lot of investment in surfing. Teaching at 21? Damn! Right. I'm so glad They're getting you're desperate! Hey, you must be confusing her for lightning, because lightning's the bitch. <laughs> See? My grandmother was a teacher too. She taught me everything I know. She taught me about Grand Pulse and its history. Do you know what happens next? Well, I'm still not sure this place is the past world of my time. But assuming it is, chaos rains down on Cocoon. And the disaster and the prophecy comes to... What's uh, wrong? Comes to... It's weird. It's like my memories are slipping away from me. I think this is actually meant to be an indication that dicking around with time is going to change what no one knows. It's not like uh, Back to the Future where someone comes from in the future and will always you know that uh, time is guaranteed. And that if, uh, okay, I should better explain. It's Back to the Future rules mean you can, convert, uh, you can create a different timeline based on knowledge from the future. As we saw with your Back to the Future 2, where there's a totally different 1985, but that's a little bit off subject. Basically, it takes the idea that certain, certain events will always happen, because, you know, the reason, the, the, the catalyst for the major time divergence was an Almec that records sports scores all the way up to, um, the you know, 2035 or so, you know, 2015. So, it was able to record, you know, but if someone went back in time to say, you know, 1955, as shown, you could, you could uh, use the, all those sports scores from, up to, from 1955 up to 2015 make a shitload of money. This is what I'm thinking is going on here, that 
it's not Back to the Future rules because since he, yo, know, time is changing already. Bam. Noel's memories are changing, so he cannot tell what happens next because he doesn't know. If I remember correctly, that's the general idea here is that because we dicked with time, you know, no going back in time dicked with everything. But if I remember correctly, there's actually a very good reason why in, you know, he's losing his memories, and I can't quite remember right now, but I think it's revealed later in mid and late game. And we ain't got time to play you, you dick around with you little bastards. We got stuff to do here. That thing they found in the meteorite is very weird. <laughs> but I'll take this extra yeah, XP. Get back here! It was a perfect day to ride some waves. Boy, a short little guy, he can fucking haul ass! Oh, let's see. Mm, we don't have enough for another level up. up to no good. You were running from Mackie, weren't you? I was watching him work on the robots. <laughs> this ought to be good. Hmm. I hope you're not misbehaving. I'm sorry, Miss Farron. Yes, Damn, I'm that you worked. The truth is, I sold something from and that's why he was chasing. What did you take? This necklace. Oh, so a lot of some of the key items for are in this game are actually uh, significant ones from the first game, like lightning's knife, nose necklace. Doing with this anyway. Well, that belongs to Mackie, doesn't it? No, it's mine. It's a reminder of a promise a good friend made me. Good? What? Is, uh, damn, did he get friend-zoned while he was not here? Went from fiancé to guy trying to save her. Guy gets a blessing to marry her near the end of the game. Now he's back to being a friend? Damn! Sarah kind of mean, huh? And you know, it looks like a yeah, necklace made around made of a cocoon, but when I come back, it'll be with lightning. Then there's no way she can say no to us getting married. 
Okay. You know, it's not a complete cocoon. It's, it's uh, the cocoon we saw in the game, which is, you know, a chunk of its shell missing. The memories I had of Lightning standing on the plane beneath cocoon. He was the only one who believed. Believed them enough to do something. That's why I've been waiting here. And doing nothing, right? Lightning and snow are long gone. But you still sit here and wait. Why didn't you go after them? I wanted to go. I wish I had. It's not too late. You can leave now if that's what you really want. I know, but I just can't. I'm sorry. I shouldn't pressure you. In the end, the decision has to be yours. <laughs> it wasn't the artifact after all. <laughs> Come on, let's head back. And I don't know if it's established in this game or not, but I, I think it is. But he's actually capable of saying more than Kupo and no, such. He actually yeah. has uh, able to talk and all that. Oh, instead, my things are showing up in places they you know, Lightning Returns, he does reappear and he's able to use, uh, you know, speak normally. No one here but I don't remember if he is if he's able to hear or not. I am sure he is. They think they're doing the right thing. It might not be a person at all. So what the hell's with the shrieking? being warped everywhere, anything could happen really. Right. And that's how your things ended up out here? It's not a bad theory. Okay. So maybe we should ask if anyone else is missing stuff. Let's head to the house and find out. Thinking. If no, that's true. I'm all ears. Okay, so we look at me. Born and raised, but three years ago, we couldn't rely on the broken foul sea anymore. Weren't there millions of people living on Cocoon? Well, it was. But on Pulse, we had to deal with new hardships. Like sounds like a rough time. Yeah. But eventually things settled down. Now there's a growing town. So this is basically uh, basically explaining what happened in between 13 and 13-2. Snow suggested we used to live in a seaside town on Cocoon. Snow and the rest of us were used to fighting monsters and getting our hands dirty. So we pretty much settled back into our... Snow's not around right now, so we do the best we can. And it's kind of interesting how this w went because it doesn't... Uh, they, they don't mention if he had to see Paris doing that still. That mirror. It was never there. Hey, check it out. Wait... Okay, what is that? Koopa? <sighs> how, how did that happen? Magic! It's we ain't gotta explain shit. A twist in time. Something that doesn't belong. Yeah. I think this is an artifact. You think or you know? We found an artifact. Just as Noel said we would. Does this mean everything else he said is true? Did he really meet lightning in Valhalla? Maybe. Once I step through the gate, I'll be leaving my friends, my students, and the village for who knows how long. Can you tell me, lightning? Do I dare believe this man? Yeah, you gotta let believe him, otherwise we're not gonna get anywhere to story. Okay, now we just have to head for the gate. I don't get it. What was that artifact doing in the mirror? Ugh, potion. Well, if you're correct, if you don't get enough uh, points towards a reward, you end up getting just future, potion by default. Wherever it came from, it didn't belong here in this time. <sighs> Scary stuff. I'm going to take this artifact and open that gate. All right, go open it, then, buddy. Me, I can see it in your eyes. 
If there's anything you're wondering about or don't believe, just ask, and I'll try to explain. Well, there is one thing. What is it you want, exactly? A future that has people in it. How very, very glib. I lived at the end of days. <coughs> I was the very last child to be born. As I grew up, everyone I knew died one by one, until eventually it was just me. All their dreams fell on my shoulders. I was their last hope. It was too much, so I left. Sure, maybe I couldn't go home again. Maybe I couldn't make everyone happy. But at the very least, I could rebuild a future where everyone could survive. So I went through the gate. I wasn't thinking very clearly then. I had a dream, but I didn't think it all out. I didn't know what it really meant. But once I got here and saw how you and your friends live in this village, I knew my dream could come true. In Valhalla, your sister gave me a chance. She gave me hope. The future can be changed. That's what she told me, and I believe her. I understand. Thank you, Noel. Thank you for telling me that. You want to take a moment to say goodbye before we leave? Nah, fuck them. I think I'm okay. The gate is where the meteorite fell. So we should head towards Cocoon, right? You know, it must be strange to have a always watching me. Hey, how much XP do we have? Oh, we don't have enough for level. Alright, so you notice the uh, level of the character is at whatever the current level of the uh, of the role is. So, most of the time you're going to be using Noah's Commando and Sarah's a Ravager. So those those should be really your uh, priorities in leveling. Keep a lookout. I will. And you be careful too, man. What's that? You gotta be kidding! Got to go all the way around. Sunrise to sunset, it's a hard job. <laughs> yeah, also we probably should use the, that alternate path. But that's not the only weird thing going on here. You mean like your friends and the way they act? <laughs> Understandable though. Guess it's not every day someone like me drops in from the future unannounced. No, even before that. Everything's been off for the last three years. Where was it? There it is. I couldn't see it. I saw the mini map, but I couldn't actually see the physical location. Now, if I'm correct, we actually need that for something later on. Yeah, see, it's a metal, it's a key item. It's really scary out here at night. You know, the security bots can do our job.
God damn, he came back. He's pissed. Wait, why did I say Gogamagog? Gogagog, or it's Gogamagog? That pose. I didn't. I don't remember that uh, that Tom pose before. Getting flashbacks to Angela and Trials of Mana. So ATB refreshing doesn't work like it did in 13. So you can't do a cheese stress like that anymore. One of, the, uh, one of the few nerfs they did to the system, sadly. Remember correctly, you had to be in a full turn, then you get swapped instead of instant refresh. And we got the beta fragment, and what that, oh, could get some nice uh, XP now. Or, uh, yeah, or rather we can do some nice uh, leveling. <coughs> Let's continue leveling at Crystarium. Ah, just... Oh, uh, okay. Almost. Ah, crap. Well, probably need to do that later anyway. Minor, you know, mess up like that won't matter much because you're going to have to do that later on anyway. You know, I think we might just do a little bit. Well, I don't think we need to right now. Are you sure you're ready? You know, once we go through, there might be no. I think we get right into an another boss right after this. And this is honestly, yeah. It says you might never. Be, this is actually a. a bait and switch because you are able to return much later. Yes, I'm ready to go. It's not a dream or a lie. I know you know, it's, ba it's basically, you know, it kind of makes it most, most, it's kind of a uh, fake out. That's what it is. It's a fake out. Of all people, I should know how bad it can make you feel when no one believes what you say. <laughs> Call back to how she was treated in 13. Now it's my turn to do the same for you. I've made up my mind. You and I. We go together. I won't let you down. We'll find Valhalla, I promise. So, 
You're not gonna say goodbye? There's no need. We already have, sort of. Lightning's knife. It's been sharpened and cleaned. What do you do hey, that? Hey, shut up! Look, my pendant has a brand new chain. Mm. <laughs> oh, okay. And Snow was purring like a kitten. <laughs> Someone gave him a good brushing. <laughs> Quiet. Hey. I mean, cats do love getting pet. I don't think I've ever seen a cat that does not like being brushed. Go on. You too. Hey, Sarah. I figured no way you're leaving the pendant behind. So I made a chain, you know, so you wouldn't lose it. If Lightning is alive out there, wouldn't want her getting mad over a poorly maintained weapon. You know her. <laughs> if you leave, someone's got to pick up the slack looking after Snow. So I volunteered myself. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> it's time for me to go. I don't know what's waiting out there, in the future, between worlds, but I want to see lightning so much. If there's any chance, any chance at all, I want to take it. You can go, but you have to come back in one piece. Promise? I promise. If I believe, maybe a miracle will happen. The future won't change until you make the first step. You know what you're doing, right? Well, I can't say that I do. This is the first time I've opened a gate myself. Guess we'll just have to find out. Mm -hmm. Hey, what about Sarah? I'll protect her. I promise you, I vow never to let her come to harm. And this is actually one of Noah's biggest, uh... Your plot, your subplot, your well, plot elements. And it's actually something that comes up repeatedly throughout the game, as well as in Lightning Returns. So this is part of his uh, B plot, or rather right, his plot in there. It makes more sense when we get to that in time. Looks like the future starts now. So, look at this. Kyos was watching the entire goddamn time. This place is incredible. It's the Historia Crux. The crossroads. That's how it's pronounced? I don't remember it being pronounced like that. I thought I was reading this Historia Crux. You know, crew. Right. Just floated through this nowhere space. And now it's your turn. So this is uh, you know, stuff that gets locked off later on, or it gets unlocked later on. But remember correctly, you have to access uh, the the end game in order to get that. A lot, of, some of these are actually DLC areas that are unlocked. Well, no, wait, yeah, well, at least one is a DLC area. Most of 13.2's uh, DLC was actually, uh, well, yeah, there's two DLC areas, and then the, most of the DLC was actually in the monster arena, which is something you can't, we can't access for a long time. It's, it was, it's uh, actually called the Colosseum, yeah, remember correctly, it's called the Colosseum of Souls. But, it's effectively the same thing as the Monster Arena from 10.
So there's two different views as you can see here. And the gate, you know, the one of the gate matrix view is honestly the, the better one because, you know, this one is a lot better when you have areas unlocked so you can quickly access a, an area with uh, within a year. But when you're starting out early on, it, you know, it gives you a general idea of which way to go. Uh, let's see. Okay, where where can we save? Rejecting the easy path, humanity has chosen to build a society based on human technology rather than relying on the Falci. A provisional government has replaced the Sanctum, and a scientific organization calling itself the Academy searches ruins for ancient technological secrets. One such site is on the shores of Lake Brescia, where a giant war weapon has been unearthed. So this is a, 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 the thing about you know, going to these areas. It gives you a little audio, you know, it gives you a narrated preview that's a, basically a loop of the, the cutscenes, you know, FMVs in there. And if you go back to to a gate without using the uh, rewind or in our lock seal, you know, lock seals, then it just goes back to where wherever the story was when you left. Man, hyperspace is getting fucking weird these days. For the future, we sometimes fall into the past as we gaze upon events that cannot be changed. Our hearts grow bitter with regret. And you, my dear Sarah, will you encounter your past here? How will you choose to deal with that pain? It's really nice that, you know, I didn't think about it much at the time years ago when I put first played this and then when I replayed it back in 2016. But, I, yeah, I didn't think about it, but it's really nice that they, you know, that they include stuff like that. that? So, you know, so Noel doesn't get treated like a goddamn idiot because he wasn't on Cocoon before. He never actually saw Cocoon. It already just fell by the time he was born. Yeah, it's like the opposite of how Titus got treated, where they looked like he like like him like he was a fucking moron because, you know he you know he's because they thought he oh he's he's Shakespeare and he should be no she don't know all these things, they end up had to make that excuse of sin's toxin, until they finally finally stop they finally figured out he wasn't bullshitting about not actually being from Spira. And that's something I didn't really talk more about like. Technically, he was from Spirit, but he wasn't at the same time. So, yeah. That was definitely some weird shit I should have talked more about at the time. And this is Wound, which is the new mechanic that in 13.2 I was talking about earlier. On normal, it can be annoying. You know, some Actually, early on, it's not so big a deal. But if you you had to basically start, you had to buy items to directly counter it, otherwise it's gonna suck ass to deal with. And this is how wounding works: it reduces max hit points, and it, you can't heal with normal stuff. 
And if a battle drags on too long, Wound will fuck you hard. Is he going Super Saiyan? Also, note how it hasn't crashed in about 40 minutes or so. It had to be cloud saving, like, it has not crashed. Therefore, I think it was, in fact, cloud saving that was the problem. So, we, we, we fixed it. We can actually play this game normally. Yay! How the fuck do they know it's a goddamn paradox? Seriously! Everybody knows what the hell a paradox is, what all this is, like, how? How did they know? It just does not make any goddamn sense that they didn't know all this shit. Like, if this, if this game was set 10 years after, or there's some kind of establishing, uh, you know, narrative about how they know all these time anomalies and such, I wouldn't have a problem with that. All right, cinematic bonuses. Okay, so if you do a perfect one in some cinematics, you can uh, get bonus rewards like that. That was exciting. Guess it's over. Huh? It's the army. Cook off. Well, friends of yours. <laughs> Sure did army this seems more like cop. Oh, I bet that was kind of a weak bad bad tasteless joke, sorry. They were right there when the giant started moving. Probably have something to do with this paradox effect. Huh. Again, they fucking know how what a paradox is. Oh, and this is something you can skip, so we ever have to we'll know. You're being detained as potential suspects. We're being treated as criminals. It's just a misunderstanding. Stick to the truth and we'll be okay. Smile. Smiling usually helps. We're going straight to Academy HQ. One question. Uh, the Academy is the Institute of Some You two came up on the... He could be talking about the elevator that's supposed to connect. It's going to be finished next. You're confused. Though. It was done last year. Uh, what? Did we move forward? <laughs> I'd say two since what was scheduled for next. Huh? Is that you? Hey, watch yourself. Thanks. Know them? Uh huh. Mm hmm. Mm. Alice is Lydell. 
I'm an academy intern. I heard you apprehended our two observers, so. Ah. Goddamn right, gonna forget about this mix up. Put your ass out on the street. Dishonorable discharge. You ain't getting shit with that. <laughs> Strange world. Stranger events. Unfamiliar faces. An uncertain future. They speak of anomalies. So that plays out differently depending on what. You, you know, you get an item, I think, mid game. I don't remember if it's mid game or late game, but you get an item called the Paradox Scope. Now, what it does is it allows you to replay certain encounters to get a, an alternate ending to the game. There's actually about, I think, 10 different endings called Paradox Endings. They're basically certain story mo uh, moments that if you, yeah, that you, if the events go differently than they do canically, you get a paradox ending instead. I'll supply you both with calm devices. Right this way, please. Uh, thank you for your help. I was just now, wondering. Now, that is, that is the, the uh, you know, gameplay-wise, that's the first one you can get, but you need the paradox scope, which we don't have. Lucky for us, that soldier was so quick to believe me. You're a friend of Sarah's? <laughs> okay. Oh, we don't have enough for a low, low up right now. Hmm. You know, this, this isn't necessarily a two-man adventure. Um, you can actually get a third one, which is a monster pack. Ooh. I hear loot. I hear loot. Get up there. You know, I think we may have really traveled into the future. Then we're better off keeping quiet about where we're from. Nah, I don't think we can go over there right now. So we so curious. Yeah. Just why are you helping us anyway? I saw you two. I saw how you got here through that thing. What? You mean through the gate? Yes. It is a kind of gate. It links to another world, doesn't it? <laughs> nice to finally have some clue what these things are for. So basically, helping us out was almost like part of your research. But you still have questions. I do have questions, yes. About the gate. And, about and also, the something to add on about Paradox Scope. Uh, it's not, you don't necessarily get a Paradox ending through a boss battle. A lot of them are boss battles, but some are actually alternate decisions that can only pop up when you have the Paradox Scope on. I hear loot. Come here. Uh, yeah. So here's how some of the items have changed. You know, it's no longer a flat bonus with uh, something like the bangle, but it's actually. A percentage, which can be useful late game if you have a good chunk of you know, hit points out. Why does she look like so damn sad? It's like that one meme dude standing around in rain.
Get all this off the screen. So let's try to save. Ah, that's why it glitched. Because we did not have, you know, because we didn't restart the client after, you know, turning off cloud saving. So that's why it messed up. I knew something was wrong. Anyway, we're going to stop it here for now. Pick up next time. Thanks for watching. See you next time.